Thursday Thoughts with Coach Bobby. Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. Happy Thursday, and welcome to another edition of Thursday's Thoughts with Coach Bobby. In today's edition, guys, we're going deep into what the power of attraction, right, and the, the law of, of quantum physics goes into. And many of you have, have heard me talk about the power of attraction, which basically says that we draw to us what we think about, right? Like attracts like. So what we think most about and our daily habits of, of what we do and how we think draws to us what we what we have in our lives. So wherever we are in our lives, right, in our lives, whether it be career or relationship or fitness, we've drawn to us, okay? And to bring it down from that high level of quantum physics and power of attraction, the equation is very simple, right? We are where we are because we have chosen that we want something more than another, right? So for example, we are where we at, we are where we are at, right, fitness wise, because we currently enjoy sleeping in, sitting on the couch, watching Entourage more than we enjoy having a six pack abs or, or nice chest or nice legs or whatever our fitness goals are, right? We currently enjoy that hamburger more than we want to have a nice physique. And it's really that simple, guys. And until that changes, until we want the physique and the health and the confidence more than we want to have the macaroni and cheese or cereal or sleep in every morning, until we want that more than that, then we'll always be where we are. All right? So it's very it's, it's very simple. Now, what I want to do in this edition of Thursday's Thoughts is dive one step lower than that, right? One step deeper. Okay, because what it really boils down to is foregoing what's in front of us, right, right now in this moment for what we really, really, really want, which is not in front of us, which we can't really see unless we have a deep understanding in our eyes, in our minds of what that is. So if I asked you, right, would you rather have a dollar from me now or five dollars from me now, the decision is easy, right? Five, five, five versus one is very easy, right? But if I said I can give you a dollar now or five dollars tomorrow, what would you want? All right, so and that's the dilemma that we face, right? It's a dollar right now, or if you wait and show some discipline, I'll give you five dollars tomorrow. All right, it's the same dilemma we have our kids face, it's the same dilemma that we deal with when we're trying to save for vacation, for example, right? For Hawaii, right? $5 is Hawaii, right? That's down the road. But to, to get there, we have to forego the daily ones, right? The coffees at Starbucks, the, the lunches out with our girlfriends, uh, the drinks after work, right? Whatever we do, however we spend our money, we're willing to forego those and sacrifice that in order to save for vacation in Hawaii, right? And so our fitness goals are, are really, should be seen as the same dilemma, okay? So every day we're faced with situations and habits that we have that represent the dollar, okay? So every day we're faced with, you know, do I have that cookie? Uh, do I sleep in 20 more minutes and miss my workout? Do I go home after work just this once and skip my workout because I'm tired? Do I sit on a couch for 20 minutes uh, and watch this show instead of going to bed early and getting my rest? All those things we face are, are in direct conflict with what we want, which is the $5, right? So we have to be willing every day to look at it that way, to say, okay, I know I, know I want this. I know I want A, but I really want B, all right? I know I want this piece of chocolate or I want to have this uh, this carb of choice, whether it's pasta or, or bread. Uh, but what I really want is to look good next month on the beach, all right? Because the $5 is not in front of us, right? We have to wait for that. But what's in front of us 
is 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 instant gratification, right? It's instant pleasure. It's the dollar, right? So I want to be able to to be able to block out the dollar every day and put at the forefront of my thinking, right? On my wall, right? On my desktop or computer, in my wallet, a reminder that what I really, really want is the five dollars. All right. So I want you guys to to work on that. All right. Find a way to create in your mind, right, a vision of what that goal that you really want is. All right. Do you want to have strong arms? Do you want to have uh, a nice legs? Do you want to have a, a flat stomach? Do you want to lose twenty pounds? Do you want to bench press? 300 pounds, whatever it is, I want you to keep that in your thinking. Wake up in the morning with that in mind. Have a picture of that uh, on your refrigerator. Write down the goals in, in a dry erase marker on your bathroom mirror. I want you to know what you want so that when you're confronted with those daily uh, or hourly um, hurdles that stand in the way of you getting what you really want, you're better able to say, you know what? I don't want the dollar. I'll save it. I want the five dollars. All right. So, so for this week, right until my next uh, edition of Thursday's Thoughts, I want you guys to practice that. Whenever you have those, those moments where you're vulnerable, right, and you're tempted to give in to have the temporary pleasure of having that that dollar, I want you to remember what you really want, and that is the five spot. All right, guys. So until next time, guys, keep strong, right? Keep keep pushing. You know, you're going to have ups and downs. You know, this this goal to to, to being the ideal person, uh, whether it's fitness or career or whatever, is not going to be linear, right? It's going to have ups and downs. But as long as you're moving overall in the right direction, then that's a positive. All right, guys? Until next time, stay positive, stay blessed. Have a great week and a great weekend. This is Coach Bobby. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.